And so if you look at the quilt that was handmade, they would use material that they had <clears throat> that was no longer usable for their um, shirts or their pants. You can see here we have a picture with a bowl. This is where they would wash up in the morning. And in the winter time, they had to hopefully, it didn't freeze because it would be ice cold or frozen solid. All right, so that's what they're, and you can see another lamp here. That they would turn on, um, to bring up when they were, came upstairs and then turn it off. And then hopefully in the morning, the sun was up. If not, they would have to uh, be able to light it. Hang on just a second, to go down the stairs to see. Now on the floor here, we can see there's another container. It's kind of a metal pot. Does anybody know what that metal pot is, Blake? Uh, they peed and pooped. <laughs> so it was their bathroom, yeah. So it was called a chamber pot. And in some other areas, it's called a thunder mug because they didn't want to get up in the middle of the night and go outside to the outhouse because no lights, animals <laughs> roaming around, and you just weren't sure. And so you did that. And then so one of the chores that the children would have in the morning would be that you would have to take the chamber pot out to the outhouse, dump it out, rinse it out, and then bring it back, and it would be stored oh, under the oh, bed. Fine. I should, can you imagine that? Yeah, that would be your chore, mm -hmm. your responsibility. Clara, what do you got? Uh, so if they, if <clears> only, <throat> like, could two parents sleep on this bed, yep. and then, like, the two... You might have one or two there, or you had different areas. So right now they have it set up for a museum. We're not sure exactly how many people slept up here, but remember, originally the house... When it was first put together, they had about 20 people in here until they could make other so houses for people to live in. I, I think that they could, like, maybe, like, sleep down in the living room. Well, they might, or they're sleeping on the floor, but may not have been as comfortable, okay? All right, so speaking of the beds, you can see, look at, look at the different pattern mm -hmm. of the quilt. So this was all handmade, and if we pick this up under here, they had to make everything that they had. So this was like filled with, um, you guys can come feel this real quick if you feel this. This is like filled with feathers, so it's nice and warm, keep you warm. So they right. called it a feather bed. Called it a feather bed. Blake, did you get a chance? No. You can step back. Ooh, wow. All right, and then the next one. Does that sound as comfortable? Oh, oh don't touch, but did you see it? Listen, here, I'm, I'm squeezing this one. And this one. This was filled with probably corn husks. And it kept you from the ropes that were underneath here. Never mom ever say to you, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite? Yeah. So sleep tight meant that these ropes had to be nice and tight because if not, then you kind of sink down. So you had to make sure the ropes were nice and tight. All right, and so this kind of protected you from that. And then you had the feather bed that in the wintertime you could sleep under to keep you warm, and in the summertime, sleep on top of it. Okay. <clears throat> it is. Well, different pieces fall off the ceiling. <clears throat> if you turn look, turn yourself around, because we have to finish and go to the other building, you can see some different uh, spinning wheels. And again, everybody had to make everything that they needed. Um, and then uh, the farmers in this area, they grew lots of wheat. So they needed wheat for themselves. And then the extra they sold to get cash for the things that they couldn't grow, like sugar or um, molasses or even kerosene or things that they needed that they, they couldn't grow or make at home. So we've got these big spinning wheels and then this is another type of trunk over there. Remember the trunks in the front room? Mm -hmm. Those were wooden, a little bit more sturdy, but that one's um, a little bit, I don't know, it looks like it's made out of a material of some sort. And then you even have a rocking chair for a little child to sit on and then they would rock back and forth. Think about it, did you guys have a rocking horse mm -hmm. when you were little or a rocking chair? <clears throat> yes, all right. Any questions before we head back downstairs? Yes. Um, what is that? It's just storage for right now, and mm -hmm. so it's just blocked off, so it's not important for us to see. Yes, Clara. Uh, what is that? Stuff? What is that? So that is um, flax, and flax was grown, um, I think, over in Germany, and yes. it, and then when you uh, harvest it and then you comb it out, it becomes you can weave it into linen. Um, and I think they attempted to grow it here, but it didn't do as yeah, well sure. okay. as what they had in Germany, okay? But the big one was used, it, like, for um, hair. wool. Mm -hmm. They used the wool from the sheep to make thread and then weave into cloth. All right.